here's Poppin' Playboys, welcome back to the channel. Bro, Florida is getting so hot now. It was just so nice and cold and just, you know, it's a nice weather to work on your car. Now, it, bro, it's like scorching again. So here goes Sean sweating every video for the next like five, six months because Florida never, ever, ever, ever feels nice during the summer. Never, it's like 100 degrees all the time. So before we get into today's video, I want you guys to like, comment, subscribe. A lot of you guys watch my videos but don't subscribe. So it just takes like two seconds of your day just to press that button. It helps me a lot. And uh, make sure you guys like because that, that helps me greatly. Like that gets my videos recommended more to other people. So, But yeah, man, if you guys want to see this channel grow, just hit the like button and subscribe to your boy. And yeah, that's all I'm really asking for you guys. But if you guys notice something in the corner, your boy got a jack. Oh, snap. Yo, it is red. Right, if you guys didn't know, that's literally my favorite color. My favorite color is red. I, I mean, I love the blue, but the red always has my heart. It's just that insurance prices are super high, so I ain't gonna do that. But yeah, let's jump into today's video. Today we're gonna be installing something that I bought from HybridRacing.com. Oh, you guys like this shirt? Comment down below if you like this shirt. I might make more of these and sell them, but I don't know yet. But yeah, uh, yeah. Today's video is about this hybrid racing part that I bought from the transmission. If you guys follow Hybrid Racing on Instagram, you guys know that they released their new Detent Springs. Uh, these are for, I think, every Honda Trans. I think it's for the H trans, the K, the B, I think even the D. I don't know about the F. It might be for the F too, but I heard it's for every Honda trans. So uh, basically what this does, it makes putting it into gear uh, a little bit stiffer than stock. Because OEM is like a little soft. Like sometimes you won't know that if you're, like, if you're in gear sometimes. I don't really know how to explain it. But yeah, what this will do is just make it a little bit difficult for it to go in gear, but more satisfying. So you can, like, you know. You actually know that you're in gear so i think i worded out really good i don't know psych the install is really simple all you have to do is jack up your trans a tiny little bit because you are going to be removing the mortar mount well not really removing it you're just going to be moving a bracket so you can get to this three uh three bolts for you on the screw and once you unscrew those three broke those three bolts you put these new springs in there's three of them uh, remove the old ones put the new ones in and you tighten it back up and that's really it for the, for the install it's a really simple install it's really minor and it won't take you longer than like probably 20 30 minutes unless you don't have a jack but your boy got a jack this time Damn, this car look good, boy. You will magically open the hood. <laughs> All right, guys, let's jump into the install. So basically what you guys are gonna do, is gonna be two nuts, as you guys can see, those two nuts right there on top of the mount, this one. Uh, you're gonna take off those two nuts and then this big old screw, or uh, bolt right there, so you can focus on it. That big old nut right there. Well, I keep saying nut. I mean bolt, the big old bolt right there. Gonna take that one out and then this be able to come off. And once you remove this, you can finally see those three uh three bolts. See, I, see I didn't say nut this time, but yeah, it's gonna be three bolts right under this mount. And then uh, you're gonna take those out and remove the springs. Also make sure you guys jack up your trans just a tiny bit. So like you can take off the stress off the other mounts because you don't wanna add all that stress for no reason. So uh, yeah. Make sure you jack it up just a tiny bit. You don't gotta jack it up like it's like you're lifting up the car. Just add some support underneath it. All right, guys. So the car's on blocks, and then uh, also I already started to like loosen up the the nuts. So these are 17s. Cause I didn't know it before I didn't want to show you guys and not know so these are 17s for a fat and uh, this one I haven't checked it out yet so I'm gonna figure out that one uh, from my from my uh, situation from my setup I had to remove the intake because I wasn't able to reach a couple of the nuts and uh, yeah I made it simpler you, all, you guys can also move your battery but I didn't do that I just used my breaker bar and uh, broke off this one so these two nuts are loose now I just gotta work off getting this one I don't know what size that one is but I think it's a 17 or 
18, so I'll check right now. Alright guys, so I finally got the trans mount out. Well, trans mount bracket. It's a pain in the butt to get out, but it's really simple. You just want to take out those uh, those two nuts and that one bolt in the back, and also take out the bolt that's actually in the mount. Once you do that, it's gonna be kind of hard to take out the the bracket because you have to play with the transmission because it starts to hit uh, like right here. So yeah, you gotta play with trans just to wiggle it out. Uh, what I did to make it a little bit easier, I took out that one screw, if it focuses on there. I took out that one screw and uh, it made it a little bit easier for me to move the ECU around to pull out the trans, or to pull out the bracket. And then I took off this one too, you guys can see that, I took off that one too. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out those three bolts, I'm going to show you guys in a couple seconds, and then uh, insert the new ones and then put everything back on and that's really it. And then I'm gonna go for a drive and show you guys how it feel. And uh, hopefully it feels totally different than stock. Cause I'm gonna let you guys know, cause this is not a paid sponsorship, so I don't get nothing from this. Uh -huh. Aha! <laughs> All right guys, so those three bolts that you guys see right there, if it focuses on it, there we go, are the bolts that you're gonna take out. Uh, those three bolts gonna have three springs in it with three balls. Ha! <laughs> Just leave the three balls inside and just take out the spring and uh, replace the spring. Uh, after that, yeah, it's pretty simple to take out. It's 12s. They're not that tight like the motor mount, so you can break them pretty easy. And uh, yeah, once you replace that, put everything back to stock. And uh, yeah, you just start yourself some Deaton springs. Smoke. So here goes one, and the spring is right here. All right, so here goes one that stops. Here's hybrid racing. Oh, it fell. Here's the stock. I mean, here's the stock. Here's the hybrid racing. As you guys can see, definitely bigger in size, and it's also definitely sturdier than o OEM. Yeah, definitely. So what you want to do now is just put that back inside. Make sure you guys don't lose that washer. Get your bolt. You do that to all all the rest you do that to other two you guys can tell i'm freaking tired it's hot as hell outside and all my freaking energy is going away but yeah now we're just gonna put the the bolts back uh you guys don't really need to see me do this so yeah i'm gonna update you guys when i have everything back in and uh 
yeah, go for a little drive and show you how they feel. Well, explain to you how they feel. Let's get it. Five minutes later. All right, guys, so everything's, well, let me show you guys before I even start talking. All right, so everything's put back to stock pretty much how, you know, you guys seen it before. Uh, wasn't the pain in the butt to put everything back. Same way you took everything out is literally the same way you put everything back. We'll go to the transmission to get the bolt in. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, ECU's mounted back like how it was. Uh, intake back on everything. It's pretty much good now. Now we're going to turn on the car and uh, make sure everything's working properly. But first, let's see how that bad boy feel. But clutch in. Ooh! That feels... That feels good good all right so only way i can explain this is like it's like something i don't even know how can i what something i can relate this to all right so i kind of got an idea what it relates to like something you could say it relates to if you guys ever held a gun in your hand and cocked it back and you hear that like that little like i don't even know how to explain it because i don't have guns but i held one and you and you mix that that the reloading sound that that cook I don't I don't know how to explain it, bro. I don't, I'm not a gun owner, but if you you gun owner you gun owners and uh people who held the gun before and cocked it back, you guys know what I'm talking about. That's kind of like what it feels like shifting. It just feels satisfying, like it goes into gear. So it's like it's not super stiff that you gotta go uh, throw it in. It's like perfect. It's way better, way better than OEM for sure. And uh, you actually know what gear you in too, which is which is weird like this is definitely like like i don't know bro this feels feels crazy like wow who who the new like this 25 dollars mod will make my car feel this different like it's just satisfying to be honest with you like real satisfying wow oem sucks bro oem really do suck because I used to feel like I would fall into gear on accident. We're gonna go on a little drive. I'm gonna go take a shower, clean up my body, and go to my girlfriend's house, take a little drive there, and I'll give you guys a review of how they feel while driving, because you can't review something that's for your transmission if it's not being used, if you get what I'm saying. If you get what I'm saying. All right, guys, so here goes the drive. It goes in gear, the car is on, so. It feels so stiff, bro. That feels great. It does take a little bit of force to push it out of gear, put it in neutral, then put it back in the gear. I'm not gonna lie, but I kind of like it. I feel like once these, uh, I feel like once they uh, settle in and stuff like that, the drive will be much smoother. But as of right now, crap stiff as hell. Feels great though. Now I'm gonna lie to you. This crap feels great. Oh man, that shift feel good, boy. That shift feels good. That's a good shift. Ooh, even downshift and change. Ooh, that feels good. Dang. All right, guys. So the hybrid race in Deaton Springs, probably like the best $15 I spent, plus, you know, extra $10 for, uh, for uh, shipping. But yeah, man, this crap feels good. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I would definitely recommend this mod to you guys. You guys should definitely grab this. If you want to do a cheap mod, definitely change up all, all the trans feels. guys so here's my review of the hybrid racing dean springs is a mod i recommend for you guys yes doesn't matter if you even stock like literally having this one mod changes up the whole shifting in this whole car it used to feel a little bit sloppy and, and like not as precise but once you put those springs in everything just tightens up and the car feels great it does feel a little bit more notchy if you guys don't like that you always could buy a, a weighted shift knob and i could like solve your problem but yo this crap feels great 
But uh, that's where I'm gonna end off the video, you guys. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow your boy on Instagram. My own story got the soda, and why am I so black? There we go. But yeah, your boy's out. Peace.